Hi, um, it's Quick Change of Plans. This is Writing Wednesday number 50. I said this episode was going to be a Q&A where I answered questions about books and writing. But then two things happened this week. I got my novel critiqued and made a video about that. And then I came down with a cold and I didn't really feel like making another video this week. So I decided to go ahead and show you the one about critique this week. And next week, episode 51, I'll do the Q&A. It's Writing Wednesday, except it's not. I'm recording this on a Sunday night. And it is very nearly the moment of truth. It's 20 to 8 in the evening, and in this very room where I now sit, sometime around 8 o'clock, two of my best writer friends are going to come and sit down in my living room and tell me what they think of my book. I've had years of having my work critiqued by others, so this shouldn't scare me. I should know that any criticism is constructive. These two fellow writers are both great critics. They've given me really useful, helpful critique in the past. I know that it's never a judgment on me, only them helping to improve my work. Does any of this make it less frightening? Not really. So far, nobody has seen any of this book except my dad, who was my first reader, who read it for... Um, mainly for historical accuracy. He's really good with that kind of thing. And yeah, I was a little nervous about him reading it too, but not that nervous because he's my dad. He loves me. I mean, not that my friends don't love me too, but I know my dad is going to be super positive about anything I write. So tonight when Tina and Jennifer sit down with me, having read through the whole manuscript and tell me what they think and how it worked for them, even though they've both told me they liked it, when I start hearing the specifics of what they think works and what doesn't work, there's always a little bit of it that's a tiny bit scary to me, as if maybe when we peel it all away, what we'll get down to is, I'm sorry, I love you and I love your writing, but this book is too damaged to be saved. Anyway, I'm not going to show you the actual critique session, because that would be painful for everyone, and I don't think people would be that honest if they thought their critique was going to end up on YouTube. Uh, so what I'm doing is a before and after video. This is me before feeling mostly pleased with my book, unsure about some things, and a little bit nervous about the critique. Now we'll see how I'm doing after the critique. Okay, so the ordeal is over. I'm collapsed here in my bed. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I'm in bed now. Um, I'm really stuffed up because I have a cold, but that's not a direct result of the critique. But the general feeling of being, oh, what can I do? And I mean, it's not that they hated the book. They both liked it. They had a lot of good to say about it. But the great thing about good critique partners is that they ask really hard questions and they're not afraid to point out stuff that doesn't work. And, you know, I know a lot of this stuff is so subjective, which character you like, which you don't like, whether you think a character's motivation was sufficiently established or not. I mean, that people argue about that stuff all the time in books that are already published, books that are prize winners even. So you're never going to get full agreement. And, you know, I could have given my manuscript to 10 people to read and get 10 different opinions. But one thing I always tell people, other writers, about listening to critique, if they ask me, is that when you hear critique that echoes with something you know in your heart or that you're afraid might be true about the manuscript, that you should listen to. Because if you think it's a problem and then somebody else reads it and thinks it's a problem, it's probably a problem. And there were a few things like that tonight that were just like, oh, I know that's probably true and I know it probably needs to be fixed. But the thing that makes it so, oh, if you can get past the thing of feeling like critique is a judgment of you as a human being, which... I do think at this point in my writing life I am past that. If you can get past that, then what's left is the feeling that, wow, this was really helpful, really useful. I know these things do need to be changed, but I still have no idea how to do it. So I think we all know what that means. Back to more revisions. Hopefully tomorrow my head will feel a little clearer, not just from the cold, but also from the critique, and I'll be able to think about the way forward.